Right, I'm at um, Dolbury Warren. The if you follow the steps up there, they'll take you up to the Robo Hill, Hill Fort through that gate there. I just walked up a lane and this is where I'm going now, expecting to be badly bitten by horse flies and all sorts of other creatures. I could go up there, but I've decided to go follow the lower route. Which could be a mistake because because it's be damp and wet and shaded. But I'm going to take the risk. Otherwise you'd never go out and I, but I don't really want to talk about being bitten or horse flies um, like I got obsessed with a bit last time. It was a bit the horse flies have taken over from the cows, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but look, this is a pleasant wood. Entrance to Roebarrow Warren. This is Dolbury Warren. And up there you climb up to get to the Robo Hill Fort where you've got fantastic views all over Somerset. An ancient hill fort over well, three and a half thousand years plus this, but there's always been something up there since time began, you know what I mean? It's a good defensive position. There's a lot of history. I've got all that written down. Um, it's, it's, um, Iron Age, you know, and before. And the Romans were probably up there. You can look it up online now, so I don't have to give you a complete rundown. You can probably get someone who does this walk who, who will do all that and probably steady a camera. Now I came along here couple of weeks ago and I did the hill fort from the opposite direction from Cheddar. Today I'm heading for Cheddar um, and I came along this rickety rockety pathway. But it, when you get to a fork further up I branched off to follow the stream um, that would take me at the base of the Robera Warren towards Shipham. Um, no. I can't remember then if I went to Wince. No, I wouldn't have. Don't think so. I might have uh, gone to Winscombe or I might have carried on to Cheddar. I can't remember what I did on that particular walk. But the one I did two weeks ago, obviously, I came from Winscombe up the West Mendip Way, heading for Cheddar on a part of the area of Outstanding Beauty and Piney Slights. Piney Slights is like a junction point, if you like, for when you want to get back to Cheddar. If not, if you don't do that, you've either got to go further down Black Rock and then climb up the gorge either side, whichever way you want to go, or you go through Piney Slights Farm. Now, I not really know exactly what I'm doing today. I know what I'm doing at the beginning of this walk. And I've just walked. I've been walking for over an, about an hour and a half already. I've walked from Sanford. <sighs> not through the wood because I haven't discovered that route yet. That's on the list. <sighs> I walked up the road. It's, this, it's not a bad road to walk, actually, to Churchill. Um, I diverted through the village. It was quiet. Um, it's a very dangerous road to walking along that road. So, but there's a lot of wide berth going through the village. Um, so I've done that. And there are places, say you were hungry, say you, you wanted, at Sanford there's a post office. At Churchill there's a little shop. There are places, and of course also at Churchill you've got those two pubs, the Nelson's Arms and the, I think it's called the Crown Inn. Um, you've got those two pubs, which I really, the first one looks the place to go to if you're really, really starving. 
that's the Nelson's Arms, and the other one looks good to go to if you like real L. It's like one of those oldie worldy looking pubs. The problem comes is when you get to where I'm going now, where you've really got to make sure you've got your packed lunch, you've got your emergency oranges, your glucose sweets, and as much water as you can carry. Now I've got a feeling I've brought less water um, this time because that other bottle I was carrying, God, it was massively huge, so heavy. But I probably wish, I'd probably now well wish I'd brought it. So I've got like a ordinary bottle and medium sized one. The medium sized one's quite good. But what you've got to remember is from now on, there ain't no watering holes, there ain't no taps. So you have to keep in the shade as much as you can. Last time I went on this walk, oh dear, what a nightmare that was at the end, because what it was, I'd done a massive walk, I'd been walking for seven hours minimum, seven or eight hours I walked, in the hot, on a hot day, and uh, I had to wait, the bus was not only late, the bus was very, very late, like 50 minutes late, I still had some water left from that big bottle and it did last me the whole way back home. So the water was not a problem. But then we got trapped on the bus in, a ver in another, what seemed like another hour of traffic jam through Banwell, which is um, a place where it's a bottleneck. It's a small medieval village which cannot cope with massive juggernaut lorries but they do go through um, two cars can hardly pass each other so you can imagine a big bus going through can't you so we got stuck now some people had finished work they've been to work all day they got stuck on the bus and they didn't have any drinks I think they'll make sure they do from now on now I had one small orange left in my bag and somebody offered to pay me 50p for it of course I didn't accept no way I shared it between them and then and no I gave him that I had more than yeah I had more than one I had two oranges left just small little tiny <sighs> satsumas more or less and um no I, he still insisted and he thanked me so much when we got to Weston, he was so grateful that I'd given him that orange. It was like, well, it was, and I gave him a sweet as well, boiled sweet, you know. So, and I shared my other one with um, this woman, who was also looking pretty thirsty. So basically, um. I think those people will make sure when they get on their bus that they've got at least a good jaffer with them. And a bottle of water for that journey. Because although you probably think most of the time you're not going to need it, if you, have a, if you get stuck on a hot day where there's no shade in a bus, I mean, when we did stop, he opened the doors. And I felt sorry for the driver as well because he'd been having to get stuck at Banwell all day long up and down to Wells from Weston. And you could see he was he was a bit distressed as well. <sighs> anyway, so what I'm saying, now this has happened to me on this bus. <sighs> Within the space of a month, the bus was late on three occasions, and I'm talking about 50 minutes late. Now, I always get for the bus early. I'm always on time. But, I mean, so that was three times. Now, I'm just wondering, like, today, as so I thought, oh, I'm going to have to start bringing Alberta over it, parking her up and doing a circular. Now, I've never noticed that before. Look. If you can get in there. Yeah, it's a big hole on the side of the 
wonder if that, if that goes underground. That is a big hole. That could be a big foxhole. That's interesting. Something to take note of. There's barbed wire all over there though, so you're probably not supposed to go in there. That is interesting. That being up higher, look, when I walk down there normally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't notice, see? So I caught that on camera. So there's like a cave there. Could be an entrance to an old mine, don't forget. This being mining country. That could be an entrance to an old mine. Yeah, that's interesting. Right, this is, as you can see, this dog, uh, horse manure there. I can see some yellow ties every now and again on trees. So, don't know what that means. But there is a way up, which I've never been able to find. I've seen some people, but I should have asked them exactly where they... Um, there's another way up somewhere around the corner there. That you can get up onto the fort. They said there's some steps. But I don't want to go digging around today for that. Obviously, if you lived local, if you lived local, you could you could go and explore all these different things, couldn't you? There's lots and lots of insects. Like I said, I put a bit of anti-repellent on, not a lot, because of my asthma, and I did have to have a puff. I did have to have a puff of inhaler because of the repellent that actually triggered me breathing. Right, so this is video two on the 17th of the seventh month, 2017. And I'm in Dolbury Warren at the base of Robero Fort, Hill Fort, Iron Age Hill Fort. Over there above those trees somewhere, there's Robero Church. Now here we go, look, see? Over here, I did try looking once, I still couldn't find no steps. You've probably got to follow that path. See? Somebody said there's a way up here. And I went that way. Now that is a sheer way up. So it must be along there somewhere you go to get up. I just don't feel in the mood for exploring today. I'll have to come over separately to do some exploring just in this area, I think. Yeah, so there, apparently there's some steps. We'd probably see it better in the winter when there aren't any leaves about. Yeah, because I saw I seen those people and um they came out about they came out there, of course they came out there. Right then I'm gonna turn off for now everyone. Over and out.